Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial and overview video on our new official art packages. In this video we will be looking at the Smiteworks 2019 image pack, its contents and basic functionality. As with all of our art packages, we have a standardized system by which we organize all of the included assets into their subsequent folders. Here we have the backgrounds folder, brushes folder, decorations, effects, maps, and tiles. The backgrounds folder consists of all of those images that we would start our image off with. Our brushes pack consists of all of those images that we might use with the line, square, and ellipse tool. Our subfolder tracks consists of footprints that can be painted across the landscape. They come in a variety of shapes. Decorations are all of those images that are used to populate the majority of our creations. In the base folder, we have all of our updated forest assets from rocks, trees, pre-created groupings, their individual assets, and many more. We have three subfolders, cemetery, forest, and swamp. These are all images that were hand drawn and work seamlessly with some of our other art packages. Our maps folder includes several pre-created maps that were designed by using these image assets. These maps can be used as is in conjunction with each other or as a base to build up further images on top of. Our tiles consist of many base tiles to build up any area you wish with our updated forest assets as well as two subfolders. Trails consists of images that work very well on their own or in conjunction with painted trails. The dungeon tiles are those that are pre-created tiles that snap seamlessly together in a drag and drop fashion onto our workspace. There are over 300 tiles in here to create any room, tunnel, or other underground location. To create an image of our own, we can start off with a background image, tiles, or any other image we wish to start with. I'll begin with our tiles and use some of these 10 by 10 pre-existing tiles that work seamlessly with each other. Dragging and dropping one of these tiles onto our image and maps window will instantly create a workspace for us. We can begin by setting up our grid. I'll be using 100 by 100 since that is the base size from which these images are created. You can certainly use any other size you wish. I can now drag and drop any of these images. These all snap seamlessly together as long as you line them up with the correct color. I'll use my painting tools to create a seamless shoreline. Now going over to my brushes, I can pick one of the brushes that will help me create my shore. I'll be using the line tool for this. I can set the size that I so desire and begin to paint this across my landscape. I can go in a straight line. And if I so wish, I can also change this for a more varied outcome. Wanting to break up the area a bit more, I'll go into my decorations, the dirt round one image. I will make this the correct size that I wish it. Here I'll be using three by three, dropping down its opacity to 50. I can now begin to stamp out a gradient. Moving my mouse around and clicking repeatedly, I can fade the ground into the water. The lower my opacity, the more of a gradient I can create. To finish the effect, I'll go back into my brushes. I'll grab the water brush, lower its opacity, and layer some water to create a perfect transition from the water to the land. Now moving back to my decorations, I can begin to either drag and drop images onto my creation or continue to paint them in using the stamp and line tool. I'll be using a mixture of this to quickly generate the rest of this map. Pre-generated decorative groupings can work well to quickly enhance our images.
And that concludes a brief overview and tutorial of our SmiteWorks 2019 image package. Thank you and we'll see you next time.